Hey there, this is an iPad and I'm designing an agility course here uh, on Agility IMAP, the ultimate course designer. I'll give you a preview of what it looks like. It's available on iTunes, by the way. Alright. Alright, hi there. I'm going to give you a quick run through uh, of the capabilities of Agility IMAP. It is awesome what I've got here. Load it up, loads up very quickly, and here we are, blank course. Uh, it's very simple. To start building, touch, put a jump here. You want to rotate it, said, oh, I don't really want it there. Move it, oh, I wanted it over here. Let's put it like that. Um, one thing, if you're making a jumper's course, you can just tap once and then tap a second time, and a little lock goes on there, and you can go bing, 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 and, uh, you know, quickly lay out all your numbers. Uh, the same thing with your numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So let's go back. Let's clear that off. Um, so that's all. It's really very simple. It's intuitive. It's basic. Like it's manipulating data with your fingers. It's awesome. Like because you've never done it before. We've all used like mice and keyboard, and it's just like alien. Like having this thing between me and my data, which in this point is my map. I just you know, have you ever had one of those magnetic course maps where you can just go. But this is so much cooler because those things you had to like they were so small and you had to pick them up with your fingers and fl they got flipped around. This is really cool. You just go here. Um, give me a seesaw, you know, it's full color, you can see the slats on this A-frame here. When something's selected, it's highlighted in red, unselected it's not. Um, all the obstacles are here. The tunnel, the set, tunnels, shoots, dog walk. Now right now you can't really cu customize these, like you can't say, oh my A-frame's like 5.7 instead of 5.6, like there's this one height, it's like, you know, it's fine. It's not going to make that big of a difference. Tire, uh, table, and so on. Weave poles. Uh, you want to add some met metadata like the club, judge, venue, level, class. You know, you just type it in. Level, excellent. You know, it's simple enough. You say, well, hey, you know, courses aren't all that great if it's just you. You want to send it to your friend or a trainer or your students or your, your rep or your, uh, the person who looks over your courses and, uh, you know, tells you what you did wrong there and how to, how to, quote, fix it, improve your course. Yeah, those guys. Anyways, um, the little envelope icon, you can add it to your photos on your iPad. You can email a PNG, which is just an image file type, like JPEG. Email a data file, which is an .imap file, which is actually really cool. Why don't we do that? Actually, you know, we'll do both. Uh, we'll email the PNG and a data file. So it just comes up. It's attached to this is the PNG file, and then also is a .imap file, and then also here I have like you know that code where you, people copy and paste it. So we'll just type ourselves, and we'll send it to ourselves. But you could send it to anybody you wanted to. Send, and you just export it to your map. It's actually you can also just hook up to iTunes and go into iTunes, and you can just like drag all your maps in and out from your computer back into IMAP here. But uh, ex this is the easy way to export one at a time. So, let's go out. Let's go in our mail. Look, we have a mail here from myself. It's our Jody IMAP. Uh, and you can just check it out. Oh, there's the, there's the image. But let's say, hey, you know, I want to open this. You know, I'm a rep. I want to, like, modify this thing because this guy, he, he's got some issues here. You just click. We're in, we're in Apple Mail on the iPad. Click once, and a little menu comes up in the email program. Open an Agility IMAP. Click it, bing, and there's the the map. It's loaded up. No more copying and pasting. That's so 1999. Welcome to the 21st century and the magical and revolutionary Agility IMAP on the iPad. And hopefully it'll come to the iPhone and the Iraq and the Iran. Uh, it's just a joke, an old spoof I saw. That's It cracks me up every time I think about it. And, and I think about it a lot because I name my products that. Uh, so I'm always like just laughing. Oh, I forgot to show you. 
um, you're like, oh, you know, that's kind of small, you know, I'm blind, I'm old. You know, I need, oh, oh, can you see it now? Okay, good. But it's really easy, you can double, double tap, we'll zoom in to 200%, double tap again, and it takes you back to 100%, or you can just do the pinch, move it around, like, uh, you know, where is that, uh, I wonder what, does that really, how much, how far is that, uh, you know, there we go, you know, add some more stuff in, you know, I want to tweak this a little bit, and, you know, put the four up there, so that's really cool. Um, and, all right, so we have this course, and that's great. And how do you manage your courses? Like, you know, there's no, like, file system, really, like there is on a computer on the iPad. So we're, we built in a course browser. Let's go here. And all your courses are in here. You just flip through them. Like, huh, which one am I looking for? And then up here it tells you, if you put, if you filled in the metadata, uh, otherwise it just gives you the file name. Um, and then you can lo load it, which will load it into the where you can modify it, clone it, which <coughs> basically duplicates it so you can like build, you know, nest your courses, kind of like build like, oh, I want to build an excellent, the open course now and the beginner's course and so on. New allows you to make a brand, brand new empty course and then you fill it in with your obstacles. There it is. And it just automatically fills in the screen, you know, so if your course is like 20 by 20, it'll blow it up for you, take up the whole screen. And uh, let's put on, let's put on some, let's make a quick course here. You know, I think they do something like that. Let's rotate that just a little bit off. Move it up. Move it up. Number it, one. To I forgot to lock it there. You double tap to lock. Threadle and then up here and then you know we'll be real ugly. And then back to here and then finally finish up there. Uh, now oh of course we have a little help file, a big deal. Trash. If select the thing and it becomes comes red and then if you hit trash it deletes it. If nothing's selected you hit trash and you can clear your whole map of everything. But it asks you first so you don't do that by accident.